Well, let's move to poster number two, titled Inscription Stones of Bangalore and showing a big map of the city. The colored grids are corporation ward boundaries of Bangalore and the small icons are the locations of the remaining inscription stones of Bangalore. As you can see, these stones are spread all over the city. And by now, I'm sure you're thinking, is there one near my home? Do search for it, and it's fairly easy to go see the stone yourself. All you need to do is scan the QR code at the right of the bottom right of the poster. And that should lead you to Google Maps, on which you will see all that is being shown on the poster as well. Select the inscription stone of your choice on Google Maps, Ask for directions and Google sh will show you a route to the exact location of that stone from wherever you are now. So the map you're seeing is also a good reference to explain the arrangement of posters in the hall. Mr. Rice in 1905 in his book Epigraphia Karnataka recorded the stones in a certain manner. He started with inscriptions within the core of the city and then he rec recorded them hobbly by hobbly starting with the northernmost Hobli of the time, Eshwanpur, and traversed in a clockwise manner from there. He recorded Eshwanpur, then Yalanka, Krishrajpuram, Vartur, Agara, Begur, and finally Kengeri. So we have arranged the posters in almost the same manner. The first three inscriptions we cover being within the city, followed by inscriptions in the same north, east, south, west directions as Mr. Rice. Do try the QR code, on the bottom right of the poster if you have not done it yet. And while you're doing that, let's move and learn about our first inscription stone of Bangalore in the next poster.